Alright guys, so today we're going to be tackling a very annoying issue and that issue being that the PlayStation 4 does not allow us to play audio through two devices at the same time. You've probably noticed this. You plug your headset, your headset into your controller, as you see here, um, and practically all of your audio is coming out through your headset and you will not be able to stream audio through a capture card or you will not be able to hear your audio through your TV. Um, so today we're going to tackle that issue. We're going to talk about how to fix it and uh, stay tuned for that. So before I actually start the tutorial, I do want to give a quick disclaimer. This tutorial is a little bit more advanced. It is targeted to streamers or people that are using more high-end equipment. So if you're looking for a simple setup, I'll link a video in the description. But this setup is a little bit more advanced. You will need some technological background. Uh, that being said, I will guide you step by step as to how to do this fix. Okay, so let's get started. So practically here is the equipment that you will be needing for this fix. You obviously need your headset, gaming headset. Um, for this tutorial, I will be using a TRRS regular 1 8 uh, headset. This fix will not work for USB headsets. This fix will work for Astros or Turtle Beaches or whatever it is that you're using. Um, you will need a USB audio mixer or USB audio interface um, in this tutorial we'll be using the Behringer Q502 USB as you can see it has I believe five inputs if you count the RCA's uh, you have a total of six it's a pretty basic USB mixer no more than 60 70 dollars on Amazon you will need an, a digital to analog audio converter so basically we will be converting our digital audio from the PlayStation to analog to be able to connect to the mixer. Uh, you will need, if you are streaming, a condenser microphone and uh, you will need also a Toslink digital audio cable. All the links will be in the description to these products if you want to buy them from Amazon. You will also need uh, a stereo RCA to stereo let me flip it around one second. Stereo RCA to stereo one fourth TRS cable. Uh, this is pretty basic. So don't be alarmed by so much equipment. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna go through what we're going to be using. Basically, the USB mixer is our center of operations. Um, all of our inputs. All of our audio sources, including our microphone, our PlayStation audio, will be coming into here. That being said, let's get started with the tutorial. So in this portion of the video, I'm basically showing you how to connect your devices. Here I'm powering up the digital to analog audio converter. Just connect the power cable to the 5 volts input and you should get a red light indicating that you have power as you will see in a second secondly you're gonna want to take your digital toss link cable and connect it from your PlayStation 4 to the converter if you look at the back of your PS4 you should see a port that lights up red that's the digital toss link output uh, you basically want to connect it there and connect the other end to your converter and you should be good to go after you have this connected, um, it's very straightforward. You have your audio going from your PS4 to the converter. So next thing is to set up your mixer. Um, you power up your mixer and you take your RCA to one fourth audio cable and you connect it from the converter to the mixer. So now we are sending audio from the PlayStation 4 to the mixer and we should be good to go as you can see this is how we connect the cables 
um, pretty straightforward I'm connecting it to channel 2 slash 3 but you can connect it to any channel that really does not matter so long as you have a stereo cable it will sound well alright guys so once all your cables are plugged in at least the PlayStation audio cables we're gonna go ahead and test that we're getting audio so we're gonna take our headset our gaming headset and we're not gonna plug it to the controller like we normally do we're gonna take a phone's adapter and we're gonna go ahead and plug it into the phone's output on the mixer okay um, as you can see there it's plugged in it says phones uh, there we go so next we gotta go to our PlayStation. Go to setting, go down to sound and screen. Go to your audio output settings and yours should be on HDMI. So change that, make it digital out. Optical. The settings you can leave by default and everything else you leave as is. So on your mixer, the way you can test this is uh, on the levels of where you plugged in, which is 2 slash 3, just crank it up. And as you can see, I am indeed getting game audio. And you can probably hear it on the bottom, on the background. I'm going to go ahead and put on the headset to see if I can hear from both. So I can listen. Wow. I have a lot more control over the levels. And let me tell you, it's a lot more handy to control the volume from the mixer than from this thing here. Even though you still have control over here. But, wow. Sounds great. Sounds really clear, really crisp. So the beautiful thing about, the beautiful thing about this fix, guys, is that uh, we can already get sound from the TV and the headphones. So, how can we test this? Is that we go to menu. Uh, I'm just going to crank up my TV volume. Um, I'm going to system volume. I can hear through my TV or monitor, gaming monitor. And I can also hear through these um, headphones. So we have solved the issue of being able to listen only through headphones. We can now hear successfully through either a capture card because it's going through the HDMI. Uh, we can also listen through the TV and through the headset. So the last thing is, maybe you're wondering, okay, so I can hear game sound through my headset, but how can I speak or how can I have game chat and how can I communicate with other players? So I found the fix for that and that's what we're going to look at next. So guys, this fix is very simple. All you're going to do is you're going to grab your old PlayStation 4 uh, head headset or microphone as you can see um, the microphone is actually this little piece of equipment here so all you will do is plug it into your controller and you will notice now as soon as I plug the microphone the PlayStation microphone to the controller, sound is gone again. Sound is gone, right? So the, the issue is plugging in something here. But there's a very easy fix. All you will do is you're gonna go into settings, your PlayStation. You're gonna go to uh, devices. You're gonna go into audio devices, output device. I'm sorry about the focus. I want to get the focus on point here. Yeah, I'll put device and you're going to change this to TV, right? So your input device is your headset connected to the controller. Your output device is your TV. So now we get our sound through our TV, through our Elgato. Everything is working. So I'm going to go ahead and mute it on the Elgato. Test 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 so as you can see it's working so guys I went ahead and installed the microphone on this desk 
mounting arm thing. Um, you don't have to do it this way, this is just my personal preference. Next, I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the mixer. So I'm going to take the female end and of the XLR and I'm going to plug it into the microphone like so. And then I'm going to take the other end and I'm going to plug it into the mixer over here. Okay, this microphone does require phantom power. So keep that in mind if you're planning on using it. So I'm currently testing the microphone. Um, it sounds really good. And the benefit is that once it's plugged into the mixer, you can, you can basically hear yourself speaking while you hear the game sound, which is very helpful if you're streaming and you're wondering how your uh, voice sounds so the next thing we're gonna go we're gonna do guys is that we're gonna go ahead and do a test stream through OBS studio all right guys so I just finished plugging in my interface through a USB cable to my computer I also have the Elgato um, plugged in through a USB to my computer so as you can see right now I am getting sound through the Elgato. I'm also getting sound through the TV and I'm also getting sound through my headphones, which is awesome. We are good to go. Um, when I plugged in my USB mixer, I did have to go and add in a new audio device. But if you want a tutorial on how to use OBS Studio, click on the annotation or the link in the description um, also I tested out as you can see probably I'm gonna speak into the mic and you will see the sound levels going up I'm just gonna tap into the mic actually as you can see uh, see the levels going up there basically uh, what is the benefit from using a USB audio mixer is one you can monitor your sound uh, two, you can hear game sound and microphone sound at the same time without delay. Uh, and three is you can continue to hear the game sound through the gaming monitor and the capture card as you guys saw. I hope you guys benefit from this tutorial, it definitely helped me. Um, you can get your microphone, you can get your game audio through multiple devices, you can get your capture card to stream the audio, it's a fix for all through a USB audio interface. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, it's Holy Words. If you enjoyed this tutorial and if it helped you, please subscribe to the channel. Um, share the video uh, to someone that needs help with this. It took me months to figure this, so hopefully um, this will come in handy to you guys. So take care. Until next time, see you guys.